Hey everybody, James Yeager, Tap Response. Um, I hear zero on some rifles and uh, thinking about bug out rifles and stuff like that. I get asked the question a lot, uh, what, what's the best uh, bug out rifle or what's the best uh, 22 bug out gun or whatever the case may be. So spoiler alert, 1022 is the best 22 rifle. There are other good 22 rifles. Uh, Remington Speedmaster back in the day but in modern day, I'm going to have to give it to the Ruger 1022. And I and this is not a paid advertisement. I bought all these guns with my own money. I don't really even, I barely know anybody at Ruger, so they're not, they're not an endorser. Uh, shooting this uh, Federal uh, BYOB, Bring Your Own Bottle. I've been shooting a bunch of this stuff. I've shot half, half of this bottle today. So let's see, well, let's say a third of it, it's 450. So I shot 150 plus or minus rounds of that just this, this morning out here with a red red jacket silencer um and so i got to thinking about what uh what is the best bug out 22 and i think i have three the three best uh i think i have them right here um the magpul love magpul stuff you guys know I, the crew out there, um, just great, just great human beings. I mean, just great guys. I really like them. And um, so, let me lock this bolt back. So the uh, the the Magpul backpacker, and all of these have a, a Holosun side on them. The Magpul backpacker packs down like that, clicks together. That's pretty handy, right? Yeah. Well, my, the feature I love the most about this rifle um is that it has this compartment you can put whatever you want to in it but it'll hold three 10 round ruger mags so that's my favorite feature of of this uh the the parts clicking together is cool i could i could i would trade the magazine compartment for that um it's got this uh holo sun with the uh, the solar option on top which i think is great for a survival kind of gun but the uh the other the other 22 survival rifles are absolute junk they're absolute junk. And anybody that's got one of those other survival rifle 22s, you know, you know the ones I'm talking about. I don't want to name any brands, but you know what I'm talking about. Um, I'll have a shoot off with you. No, no, no problem. We'll, 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 we'll race for pinks. Um, but uh, this is great. This is fantastic. Um, there's nothing in the world wrong with this. Um, then, and, and these uh, are all these ones with the, the barrels with the uh, holes in them. That's a Ruger barrel. It's from the L-I-T-E light model. So the 1022 light, I've got the uh, 2245 air lights from them for my grandkids. Uh, so when you see those, when you see the, the, the L-I-T-E, that's, that's what you're kind of getting there. Let me get this magazine out. And so, um, so this is the, the um, Midwest Industries uh, rail um, and uh, chassis for the uh, for the Ruger 1022 and Magpul stock on here, um, Magpul grip, and uh, the uh, the funny thing is um, I'm, I'm comparing these two items, and Midwest and Magpul they're across the aisle from each other at Shot Show. They're friends forever, and so I'm I'm talking about and they're all friends of mine. So I'm we're all, I'm talking about all my friends stuff here, but. Uh, um, but I really like the uh, the Magpul takedown a lot. Um, I like I like the rail. I like the be able the ability to put stuff all over it. Uh, and it's not me trash talking Magpul. You know they that Mag they in, invented the M lock uh, M lock rail. There's no place to put a rail on this one. And uh, so if I had a a want for the Magpul backpacker that's that's what it would be a way i can put a rail on here like i can you know epoxy screw one on and all that but i'm saying like I, that's what i would like to see uh with that the uh the midwest stuff is just nice it's just it's just really nice and i know it's aluminum but it's light it's handy and so uh and this is a factory color this kind of a pea green is a factory uh, Ruger color and so I put the Midwest top rail on these things and uh, 
and it's ready to go. Got, you know, ready to go. Now, I'm gonna tell you, out of these three, I'm gonna tell you my favorite one. Now, when, when uh, Troy at Midwest told me he's making a chassis for the, um, for the Ruger Charger, I, I was like, why? <laughs> well, he saw something I didn't see. He saw this. And uh, as usual, he was right and I'm wrong. So this is the Ruger Charger, um, 22 Charger, with the Holosun on it, um, 507, and a Surefire X300, and with the, and with the Atlas Defense Silencer, it is, uh, both the stocks are in, it is shorter and lighter than both the other rifles. Uh, so when I take this thing apart, this is it together, it's, it's shorter. And when I take it apart, and, I, and, and as you know, I can, uh, I can even take the, uh, come on, people are watching. Uh, I can even take the silencer off for, for even more compact storage. And so, and I've been out here shooting them today and, and picking between these things is trying to like pick between my kids, which you want, you know, like to have a favorite and you know, you don't have a favorite, but you really do. Right. Uh, so I like all these things. I mean, I, I like them. I'm even comparing two Midwest products from, from the other. But I, I like all of these things. I got three different Holosun sights I've been trying out. I like all the Holosun sights. But this, with a can, with a light, with a sight, weighs less than those do. And so when you're doing a bug out or survival kind of a thing, when ounces equal pounds and pounds equal pain, this, I believe, offers that outdoorsman, that bug out guy, I believe this, this package offers them more than any other 22 survival rifle configuration period. And I gotta tell you, these are the best in the world right here. These are the, these are the best in the world right here. Nothing else comes close to anything on this table. And, um, and this one out of these three it is, it's just a, it's just a winner, just an absolute winner. So, I appreciate you guys watching. This is James Jaguar Tap Response, reminding you that your responsibility to be ready for the fight never ends.